Good morning guys, we've arrived to Cappadocia in Turkey and today is our first morning here and I'm already in love with this place. Look at the beauty behind me, it's full of hot air balloons and we're going on one of them tomorrow and I'm super excited. So let's go and explore this beautiful place but first have a look what's there. Cappadocia is particularly famous for its rock formations, which are quite unique and are called fairy chimneys. It is also very famous for its open-air museum, so on our first day in Cappadocia, we decided to visit some of them. The three open-air museums that are in the area have been formated as monasteries of Christians in the early years after the Christ. And they're super interesting because you can see uh, the preserved churches and all the paintings on the walls, which are really incredible. It is truly impressive how people were able to build houses and monasteries inside the rocks. They were basically cave towns. And what really surprised me is that, for example, in Zelda Monastery, you can clearly see how the Muslim and the Christian societies were living happily together in harmony and each of them had their churches in the same community. The Monks Valley is another of the open-air museums which I highly recommend you to visit due to its unique fairy chimneys. It certainly has some of the most impressive fairy chimneys in the area and for that reason it's very recommended to visit. The fairy chimneys got its name from the first inhabitants of the area. Uh, that could not explain how they were created. So for them, they told that the only possibility is that the fairy chimneys were created by witches and for that reason, they called them that. What I found extremely impressive is that some of the buildings inside the caves were up to eight floors. The hotels in Cappadocia are also very unique and most of them are boutique hotels that are built exactly the same way as the fairy chimneys. Actually, most of them are built in all fairy chimneys and transformed into hotels. For instance, this is what my room looked like and it was truly really unique experience to sleep inside of a fairy chimney. And at the beginning of the video, you saw the view from my balcony. It was truly really impressive. Apart from the fairy chimneys, Cappadocia is also very famous for its pottery making and we went to one of the factories where everything is handmade. We were able to observe how the potteries were made and even try it ourselves and after that we went inside the studio to see how each master is decorating the potteries each of them has their own unique technique and some of the pottery pieces take up to 18 months to be completed. Each of these factories has a gallery where you can see the finished products and you can choose a piece from there or you can order your own which will be specifically created for you. Another incredible thing about Cappadocia is the food which is super delicious and the restaurants are very typical and very beautifully decorated. I also really enjoy the fairy chimneys at night, which are light up beautifully. Good morning, guys. It's super early, but we are already woken up and we are waiting for our flight with the air balloons. I'm super excited. We were allowed to fly today. Uh, you need a special permit every day to know if you can fly or not. So let's see this experience. Look at how big the balloon is.
Certainly one of the most unique experiences which you can try while in Kutokia is to fly on one of the hot air balloons. It is truly impressive what the view is from all the way up and the balloon gets up to 800 meters height. I myself am a bit scared of the heights, so I thought that it might be quite a scary experience, but I was very surprised how stable the balloon is, and the whole flight felt very smooth, and I was not worried at all. Once you're up, you enjoy the view so much that you forget about the hate and your worries. You completely disconnect from the rest of the world, and you just get lost in the endless valleys and the beautiful view of all the colorful balloons that are surrounding you. If you want to get on one of the balloons, you should book your flights way in advance, as they are usually occupied up to 3-4 months in advance, so definitely book as soon as you decide to travel to Cappadocia. All the companies are licensed by the government, so there is no much difference in between and you should not worry about booking it online. The whole experience lasts about two and a half hours as you'll be picked up from the hotel very early in the morning before sunrise and you will be taken to the field from where you will fly. Then you'll spend about an hour in the sky from where you get the most beautiful views of the whole of Cappadocia. If you want to see incredible churches during your visit in Cappadocia, definitely head to the Gyurime Open Air Museum, where you will find a massive monastery complex with churches from different centuries, the most impressive of which is the dark church inside of a cave with no light, where the paintings are preserved with their original colors. Cappadocia is full of beautiful valleys and pretty much every hill is the perfect picture of opportunity. Hi guys, I'm currently at Bazaar 54 and it's a cooperative where they teach women how to create the beautiful Turkish carpets. Look at this room and all these beautiful pieces around me. It can take up to 18 months for them to be created as everything is made by hand and it's a real art. And look how beautiful the details of these carpets are. It's truly really incredible and if you visit Cappadocia, definitely make sure to come here and appreciate this art. In fact, the two key products that get exported from Cappadocia are the pottery and the carpet. Both of them are handmade and they are uh, one of the main income uh, streams for the families in the region, apart from tourism. The carpet cooperatives are very important for the women in the region because they give them work and most of them work from home so they can still look after the kids and the house while producing the beautiful carpet. We had the chance to observe the whole production process inside one of the factories and it was super interesting to see how everything is made from the beginning when we start from the silk cocoons and we get to the actual making of the carpet. Similar to the pottery factories, the carpet factories also have a gallery where you can observe finished products and you can get an idea of what you want for your order. What really impressed me is how the carpets change their color when turned around. Another great experience which I highly recommend is to go to a restaurant which has a cultural show 
we went for dinner to this place that had a program presenting different traditional dances from the various regions of Turkey. As I said, the view from my balcony was truly impressive and I was waking up to this every morning. Today's our third day in Cappadocia and we are currently at Dirin Kuyu underground city. Today we will explore the underground city, the Pigeon Valley and the castle in Cappadocia and I can't wait to explore these beautiful places, so let's go! We're currently inside the underground city and there are up to 30,000 people that could enter here. It has eight floors. On the upper floor were always the animals and then on the second will be the kitchen and all the rooms will be underneath. So the people will stay here from like up to seven days or one month maximum just to hide for their enemies. Hi guys, we're currently in front of the uh, castle in Cappadocia and look who I found here. Look at these beautiful camels. There are a couple of locations where you can find them, you can pet them or you can ride them. And it's a super incredible and very authentic experience. The Pigeons Valley is another famous place in the area. The pigeons used to be highly valued by the locals and for that reason they created houses for them across the valley. We also visited one of the old Greek villages where you can still find a lot of houses decorated in a typical Greek way. We had lunch in one of them which is now transformed into a beautiful restaurant. Cappadocia is a really beautiful and unique place that I very much enjoy visiting. I hope that through this video I managed to take you with me so you can get the experience of how unique this place is. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe so you can see the future groups.